Hello everyone, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi and with me is Dr. Guru Dutt, who got a rank 92 in the INICT exam and you can see his smile. Guru Dutt, many, yes, many congratulations. Thank you, sir. So, Dr. Guru Dutt, your journey has been a bit atypical. So, uh, you went to US, you stayed yes, over sir. one year, did not like it, came back here, uh, cracked the exam, but did not like, uh, I mean, you went to Andhra Medical College, it's a great college. Yes, <laughs> it was even better college and now you have tried INICT with rank 92. So, first of all, many, many congratulations for this journey. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. But I would not give you all the credit. You told me that there was one person in your family who stood behind you as a rock. And yes, when sir. everybody was telling you that take whatever you are getting, there was one person who supported your dream of getting into a central institute. So, I want to know more about that person and, and how she helped you. Yes, sir. Uh, it's my mom. Uh, she's like a big rock pillar in my life. She is the one who has been supporting me since like, you know, uh, something like from my intermediate. Uh, she is the one who stood beside me like when I took this by PC and then when I joined into medicine and then when I stopped pursuing USMLE and again, when I left the seat for the NEET last year's NEET, she was all through in my journey and she's like a big uh, supporter and she's my strength. Yeah. So, so can you can you ask her to join us for a moment? Yes, sir. Sure. Definitely. Yes. Uh, just a minute, sir. I'll just call her. Oh. Uh, yes, sir. She's here. Uh, she's Hello, sir. Namaste. Ma'am, Namaskar, ma'am. Many, many congratulations, ma'am. Thank you, sir. And your son has made all of us proud. Yes, sir. I'm very proud of my son, sir. <laughs> Maybe you should be. And then you heard how much he is uh, thankful to you for all the support yeah. you provided him, sir. Yes, sir. My, 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 he has a sister, sir, elder. My yeah. sister and my, uh, his sister and my husband, uh, they used to scold when he left the pediatric seat in AMC. <laughs> but I was the one who, because I was telling which you do whichever you like. Right, ma'am. Right. Uh, that's what. Well, ma we often say that it's not only a student who appears for an entrance exam, the whole family goes through yes. the entire process. That so, is so I, sure. I that is sure. Your face is shining and you're so happy. So yes. it is not worth it in there. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, good. That. So, thank you. Uh, now, let us talk a bit about your preparation. I think uh, you used almost everything in Cerebellum. Uh, yes, sir. Here extensively, then you started using mission lectures. Yes, sir. You did the marathon, you did late night PYQs, you did BTR ENDs, even the last uh, day class. So, let's talk about all of them. So, uh, let's start with BTR because you started using BTR in the beginning. So, yes, uh, I think I think BTR played a very important role in the preparation. It kind of, you know, was the central... Uh, a tenet of your preparation. So how, how did you use BTR? Uh, sir, actually, uh, to uh, properly speak about BTR, I was the like I was a subscriber since it's it got launched like from the last year's 2024 May when Ma'am launched it. Uh, when actually Cerebellum was sprouting, so I mm -hmm. took the BTR uh, at that time. At that time, I was actually uh, using my normal notes and some of the uh, uh, Marrow notes and some other things, some other apps and all. But BTR was the core thing which I was stuck on because Ma'am's schedule. First of all, she's a brilliant charm where she prepares a schedule in such a way that you get to prepare each and every topic and uh, she's also such a hardworking person like uh, uh, yes. she she makes those ENDs the first cycle of END I was there mm -hmm. and for that November uh, 2024 INI I even attended MAM's uh, offline BTR mm -hmm. in Hyderabad mm -hmm. and that time I even met MAM in uh, real uh, re in real and yeah yes yes sir BTR is a big game changer for me because I have been following it since last year's May and uh, actually to say I have uh, written every other like even though I got a copy of the BTR's uh, hard material but I even drew the pictures like I'm an artist sir so I even drew the pictures I wrote all the side headings I wrote every other thing in my uh, in my own handwriting like I prepared that every notes of mine uh, and I used to add every other point like if I made something wrong or if or in the GTs if something goes yes sir everything like I used to just add on to one source I used to have only one big like uh, a thick uh, fat notebook uh, mm -hmm. where I used to add all the subjects subject wise things and uh, I used to just uh, later on I purified that and made my own choti copies multiple choti copies and I even sir actually I stopped uh, uh, compiling it in a notebook and I started compiling them in like A4 sheets because I can, it's easier for me to uh, add on each and every sheet when I uh, want to add more stuff. So I had like last year's choti copy and this year's again choti copy one more. It's a moti copy by the end. Yes, sir. It's a, it's a moti copy actually. It's like something like 500 or 600 pages, but it's, a, uh, it's like the ultimate source for me. 
All right. So uh, you started with BTR, and then last year I think you you started using Cerebellum other resources. You started doing mission classes as well. Yes, so, sir. Tell us about the experience of mission classes. What really helped you in the mission classes? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, the mission classes when I uh, the first classes the first class which I attended was uh, Doctor Garg sir's uh, pharma lecture. Like my pharma used to be a little weak, so mm -hmm. when I attended uh, Doctor uh, Govindra sir's uh, video, then I realized okay, this mission classes are really nice. Then like I have to spare time and actually inculcate these into the mainstream, like the main part of my preparation. So that's when I started using the mission uh, live mm -hmm. classes. But uh, eventually. Uh, uh, I used to not get time because uh, like I, I, I had to do the BTR, I had to do the TNDs, I had to do the PYQs and also follow mission. So it used to be a little difficult. So what I used to do is for some subjects, I used to watch it in 2x, but some other subjects, I used to just read the notes uh, of the like the PDF beside the video. Or else for some subjects, I used to use the uh, quick revision 2.0. I even ordered the 2.0 uh, uh, note, notes of the 2.0 revision, uh, Cerebellum's notes. So even I used that, like all other resources out there, I just uh, and also I was selective like ma'am says I was selective in the subjects like in the topics where I used to feel them like a little weaker like I used to be very uh, confident in like biochemistry uh, in microbiology I used to be very strong but uh, in certain subjects like pharma like those I used to be very skeptical like okay let's read it from the main videos so even uh, the lip search infections the main videos in the infection so such kind I was very skeptical and I went into the main videos and I even watched those sir. Yeah so you know uh, Dr. Gulat when we were uh, planning about the mission classes na the idea was that main videos are sometimes difficult in the last year and quick revision videos might be too less uh, if somebody is aiming for top 50 top 100 so mission class was in that sweet spot and then we were just looking at the number of questions that were from mission class only it was more than 85 percent so you yes. know i think i think we were able to hit that sweet spot so so you are saying the same thing uh apart from that uh, you were telling me that in the last 10 days the revision was getting difficult so, so you decided to go for, uh, uh, your video became vertical. Yeah, no, it's okay. Oh, sorry, so, sir. Yeah. 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 So you decided to go for the marathon revision. So uh, how did you do, how did you use marathon? How, so when we decided marathon, it was like in the last days, give, give students something that can, you know, bring everything together in the last days. So how did you find it? Uh, yes, sir. The mission, uh, the mission videos and the marathon, especially the marathon videos, they were really nice. But uh, uh, yes, sir, I I was actually following marathon. But actually, uh, to be honest, for uh, this video, I, I didn't follow all the marathon videos, but I watched the main ones, like the main subjects, like the pharma, medicine, surgery, OBG, mm -hmm. pediatrics, and uh, pathology, like those, the, like the main one. subjects. But for the shorter subjects, I I was just stuck on, like I was stuck on with the BTR and the notes which I had before, sir. Like I watched yours uh, in the YouTube, uh, the the normal. Video videos and your quick revision 2.0 video so, so for psychiatry I was like I was sorted and for ENT I saw the SIRS videos and especially for ophthalmology the SIR uh, he's like amazing uh, I, I really just want to thank that SIR because he changed my entire ophthalmology understanding because I used to not understand ophthalmology a bit but after watching SIRS uh, videos in the quick revision 2.0 yes sir uh, her, his videos in 2.0's quick revision it completely changed my perspective so I, I mostly I just uh, stuck on to the older resources sir and if I at all i was like not in a mood to revise my notes then i used to watch like this marathon and for the main subjects uh, like the bigger subjects i used to watch the marathon because it's like I, I i should not miss any point because if i read i might miss some points so that's the reason how i, I used marathon so uh what i understand is you use resources for certain subjects and some other resource for certain other subjects depending yes, upon sir. your feeling yes sir depending on my feeling like i used to stick just stick with my gut sir like whatever my gut used to say i used to do it like i i, I as i was saying for this ina i was not even aiming for this ina i was not even uh, in the uh, target like okay i have to get into top 100 i was like i'll just give my best and i'll just read whatever is necessary so i was always in that motto and that just got me here sir i think uh what about the late night pyqs how did yes, sir. That one I have to particularly uh, say a big uh, a big note note for that because I did almost all the late night PYQs and the PYQs, the late night PYQs when they were uh, started like subject wise, that was really nice, sir. Because uh, I, I was actually happy that I used to do all the PYQs like from FMG, from INI, from AIMS, uh, like the older papers from JIPMER, from uh, the older NEET. Like uh, we used to only uh, think like NEET uh, or INI 
my uh, till 2016 or 2018 papers is sufficient but no like mm. uh, when the papers like in this uh, late night pvq sessions when the, the the questions were coming from like previous like very old like something like 2000 2001 mm. uh, such old papers we used to think like where are these even questions coming from i, I used to feel like whoa there's a lot so mm. i just stuck on with that late night pvq and even the midday modules sir because yeah. midday modules uh, i used to find it interesting because uh, certain topics where there's a chance like there's a potential of them asking in the future so that's covered in the midday modules too but i didn't do midday modules quite uh, uh, like uh, stringently but i did how many ever i can like i did for surgery for medicine and mm. for pharma <laughs> that's it sir and for few other subjects but uh, not as much as the late night pvqs for late night pvqs definitely i did sir yes almost all this time we added something uh, inic to the last class so did you did you follow it yes sir uh, that's uh, also a game changer for me because uh, i was not in a mood to revise all the subjects in the last two days uh, actually uh, i even I, i actually watched that video uh, uh, like almost at 8 pm the before day uh, the, uh, the, the the day before the exam i just started watching it from 8 pm because i was in a uh, mood that okay let's stop reading from 6 uh, or 7 because i was not in the mood to revise any more papers or any more uh, of my notes so i was like i just opened youtube actually I was thinking of listening to music, but I just saw the video that it's going live. Then I remembered that yeah, there's a live class today. So I was like, I started watching it, and uh, I, I kept it in two x because anyway, it's a revision thing. It's like a fast flush revision. So that really helped. So I was shocked that those the, all the entire faculty spared time and they did uh, like they consolidated the important stuff like for uh, four or five important topics or maybe ten topics and they predicted the important ones. Uh, like I think yeah, it's a quite a good uh, strategy sir for the last day that uh, i i really appreciate that for the entire faculty because that's really a great move sir uh, i really thank for that nice to hear i mean that is the whole aim that you know as we move closer to the exam sometimes active reading becomes difficult yes sir it uh, starts building up and you know you don't yes, you feel fatigued also so provide something that you know that can be ingested passively so wonderful wonderful i think gurudat you used everything uh, right from the btr to the Uh, last class and i think it it helped you so uh, now you are planning uh, to take which subject i am thinking to take internal medicine sir mostly or else radiology radiology or internal medicine i have to see with the counseling sir not yet thought about it because i just want to enjoy the rank for two days and maybe uh, slowly once my mind starts to settle down then i'll think about it you are planning for neat pg now Yes, I definitely. I'll just give it and give it a shot because, of course, this is a good rank. I would definitely want to join in like in I N I only. But uh, there's no harm in attempting that also because anyway, I I uh, like did the registration process for that. So yeah. Wonderful, Doctor Gurdat. It was so nice talking to you. And again, many congratulations and congratulations to your parents also. Thank Thanks. you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.